Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed already, this is going to be a Q&A video by myself. I won't, hopefully this video won't be too long, but I can't talk about myself all day. I'm not trying to sound conceited or anything. I have questions over here, so if I keep looking down or looking to the side, that's what I'm looking at. So let's get into the video. So the first question I have is, when is your birthday? The first question. My birthday is December 17, 1997. I'm a Sagittarius. Ew, ew, ew. Um, my favorite color is gray. A lot of people... Let me talk about this real quick. A lot of people give me a lot of pushback. Yo, I'm sorry. My hair look crazy. Let me get back on topic. A lot of people give me pushback on my favorite color being gray. I get told gray is not a color. If you Google, is gray a color... You would get yes every time. Just because it's not like one of them bright colors like pink and orange and blue and red. I mean, it's not a color. Great. Great is out here winning. Great is winning. Anyways, the next question. Where am I from? I'm from small town Tunica in the great state of Mississippi. And yes, before you guys come for me in the comments, I know I don't say it the proper way. I know it's Mississippi. You got to say to both of the S's. I said Mississippi because that's how we say it. That's how we say it down in the South. So, oh, military question. How long I have been in the military and what is my job in the military? So, on July 7th, it'll be three years for me being in the military. I made it to three years. We did not think I was going to make it this far because I was an uh, interesting airman when I first came in. My job in the military is public health, so pretty much I'll give you a quick overview of what I do. With my job, I do the hearing tests. Um, we deploy people. People catch STIs, STDs. We interview them. People get pregnant. We interview them. Um, we do facility inspections and food inspections around the base to make sure the base is safe. And that's about it. That's a quick overview. We I can go into detail, but that's too much. Okay, you say you was pregnant. What do you want to have? If I'm being honest with you, I want to have a little girl. Because even though my hair right now is great and cut into a bob, when I go into my next video, I will explain why my hair is cut and not curly right now. But it's still curly. All I have to do is add water to it right now. I'm just loving the bob look. I've never cut my hair until now. Besides trims. And I'm fell in love with this look. But yeah, I want a little girl. I want a mini me. Why are you married but single? Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I knew somebody was going to see this question. I felt it coming. So I'm going to make a whole nother video about that. Because that's an interesting, interesting story. And it's too much for this Q&A video. It needs a whole video by itself. But it will be interesting, so stay tuned. Subscribe so you can get that notification when it's uploaded. How do your family feel about you being pregnant so young? If I'm being honest with you, my family, well, my mom, she's the type of person where when I joined, I joined the military at 17. I came in, I graduated a year early. And I came in at 17. When I graduated basic and test school, and my mom was like, hey, you can actually do this. The first thing came out of her mouth was, I want grandkids. And at the time, I was like, no. Granted, this baby was planned. I was like, no, mom. No, 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 no. I don't have, no, I can't. I can't do this. But now, the Lord was like, yes, you can. And I have been blessed. With my little bundle of joy. I get up at the end of the video so you can see how small I am. I'm going to be super, super tiny. I already know it. But only weigh like 120 pounds. So I don't expect to be big. But my mom, the only people I was really worried about were her and my grandmother. My grandmother was ecstatic because you know how you have a favorite. But then I want to say you the favorite. They always say, I love my grandkids all the same. I'm the favorite. I'm the favorite. She ain't got to say it. I say it for her. I am the favorite. So if any of my cousins is watching this, I'm just like, you know, I am definitely the favorite. 
How do you cope with everything that's going on with your life? I pray. I've been blessed to have a good support system here and back home. I have friends here that don't let me be by myself, but of course I want to be the typical, I'm going to stay in bed and sleep all day and cry and no. My friends will not allow that to happen. They will make me get out of bed. They don't care if I cry with them as long as I'm not by myself. I also pray because in some situations, it's all you can do. I'm getting choked up, Lord. Oh, Jesus, give me a minute. Oh, okay, I'm back. I pray. Like, I know a lot of people say don't, they don't believe in God. They don't go to church. But I kid you not, when you feel like you didn't hit that rock bottom, and all you can do is, like, you have nothing to lose. You might as well pray. And I swear, once you just stay devoted to it, you just feel a whole so much better. I feel ten times better. Because, again, in my next video, when I explain the whole married but single situation, I got took out of my character. I've never been so, i never been like that a day in my life. So, me praying, going to church, having a good support system. That helped me a lot. That helped me a lot. Because I have to think about now. I have me and someone else to take care of now. I have a little one growing in my belly. That's like, Mama, I need you to be good. Your blood pressure don't need to be up. Because I'm trying to live down here. So, yeah. Do you think you're ready to be a single mom? I don't think anyone's ever ready to be a single mom. I feel like as a little girl growing up, every girl wants that family. Every girl wants to be in a happy family, you know, with the guy being there. And I don't think you can ever just mentally prepare yourself to be a single mom until it happens to you. Like right now, I'm still not prepared and I'm not going to be prepared until the baby is actually here. And I realize, hey, like granted, I do have a support system, like I said, and I do have friends. It won't be the same as having like the father there, but it's fine because... Even though I don't feel prepared, I know I can do it. With the strength of God, I know I can do anything. No matter how hard and how emotional I get. Are you in school? And if so, what are you in school for? I am in school right now. Right now, I am in school. My degrees are psychology and nursing, so I'm a double major. Yes, that is a struggle. So, to sum up my life... <laughs> on an everyday basis. Sunday is my rest day and the day I go to church. Monday I work from 7 to 4. Then I have class from 5.40 to 8.45. And that's my schedule from Monday to Thursday. And Saturday and Friday I try to catch up on homework and stuff. And yeah, I get everything done that I couldn't get done. How do you like Oklahoma? Man, when I first got here, especially me coming from, me being a country girl, coming from Mississippi where there's nothing there but casinos, I was amazed by Oklahoma. I was so excited. I was, I was always something to do. I can do this. I can do that. I can go here when I want to. I can go here when I want to. I don't have to drive 30 minutes to go here. I don't have to drive 30 minutes to go here. It was just great. Like, I loved it. I love being in Oklahoma. But then as time went over and over, you know, I was like, oh. You get used to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oklahoma is... I wouldn't move back to Mississippi. I'd rather stay in Oklahoma. But you get used to it, so it's not as exciting to you. Granted, you still are closer to everything, so you like it. But it's not as exciting. It's, I'm sorry, you guys. The last question is, what would you tell yourself a year ago? What would I tell myself a year ago? I would tell myself everything that look good ain't good for you, baby girl. <laughs> I would definitely tell myself that. Because, Lord, between you and I would say July of last year up until now, my life has had so much change and so much drama because of one person. It's ridiculous. But, again, I will go into that when I do my Why Am I Married But Single video. So, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Again, comment. Tell me what you want to see. What anything you would like to see me do. And, before I go, I did tell you guys I was going to let you see my little barely non-existent bump. Yeah.
It's super little. It's like not there. Cause again, I'm only 10 weeks. I'm super skinny. So yeah, it's just a little. But anyways, thank you for watching.